Okay, we're back in Davis, just trying to get my shit together. I am doing laundry. I Diego's taking a nap. <laughs> I look so tired because I am. Um, but I went to the shed to pack orders and realized that I ran out of the original sticker and the one that I used to seal tissue paper. So I just placed an order on Avery for more of those stickers. I'm gonna pack the boxes so that all that's left to do is put a sticker on them. And then, yeah. Um, I didn't have much to unpack because we literally only went for the weekend. So I just had a backpack. I just have laundry to do and stuff like that. And I haven't eaten anything all day today, but I'm just like in work mode, honestly. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep packing orders in the shed. Hello, happy Cinco de Mayo. It is Thursday, the 5th of May, as Cinco de Mayo implies or means. Um, but, oh, how fitting. I have a little Don Fulano shout out. This is Diego's family's tequila company. Shout out, best tequila out there. Won't get you super hungover the next day because it's puro agave. It's so good. Um, we were actually fully ready to go get uh, margaritas and everything. And then there's only like one good sit down restaurant in Davis for Mexican food. Um, it's called Tres Hermanas. And literally the line was so insane. And everything else is pretty far from us, like at least 20 minutes. And that doesn't include any sort of line that there will be when we get there. And I don't know, since COVID, I feel like restaurants are not really taking reservations. So it's just like we were we would be committing to a pretty long wait. And yeah, so here we are. Um, Just decided to stay home and do some work. So, uh, it, I mean, it kind of works out because as we were about to leave the house, I got more stickers from Avery that i have been waiting on to mail these boxes i had to order more of these original ones and so i'm gonna pack all these boxes and run to the post office tonight actually and then i also ordered more of these guys to seal the tissue paper so i'm gonna do that now some beans we're watching the blacklist wine from Navarra. oh is it it is really good where did we get this you know it in geo you got this one at grocery yeah. Yeah. This is. <laughs> I'll say it. I've said it and I'll say it again. Grocery outlet has my whole heart. I'm sorry. No, I mean, you have a big piece. Yeah. And this is my morning hair. Yes, it is. You see this fluff? Yep. 
I'm not even gonna fix it because the reality is I'm not gonna be seen by the masses or the public for a while. So I'm gonna just stay looking a little busted. Um, but hello, it's Friday, good morning. Um, I did some homework this morning. I edited a video that I filmed two days ago and now I'm in the shed, I'm gonna I'm going to make some boxes. I said in my last video that I was going to do this, um, make some boxes and take pictures of them in front of the neighbor's house because she has like this beautiful flower garden in full bloom right now. Uh, but I never got to it that day, so I'm going to do it today, right now. I'm going to pack up the boxes, get them nice and cute, pack up some items, individual items to film reels with in front of that um, house, and then... Um, I'm gonna change into workout clothes, go over there, and then do that, and then work out, shower, and I have a big event tonight, uh, which I'll talk about a little later, so let's pack some boxes. I wanted to tell you guys also, um, I don't know if I mentioned in another video, I know I talked about this idea, but the stickers actually came in for it. Um, so I created a blog page essentially on my website. It's in the header. If you go to the website, I'll insert a little picture. It's titled like Cheeky Family. And pretty much it just gives a description of all the businesses that you know, are featured on Cheeky. I've been creating this blog, working on it, it's a work in progress, um, but it gives a little short bio on each business. And what I did was I made a sticker with a QR code that you can scan and it'll take you directly to that blog page. So it looks like this. Scan with your phone to learn more about the small businesses in your box. And I've just been putting it on the top part of the boxes so been putting them right there there used to be like a skinny let me show you this is what i had at the top of the boxes which worked better when i was using my old boxes that were a little bit smaller that panel was a little bit smaller but now that it's bigger i wanted to put a bigger sticker there and i also wanted people to have a way to learn more so it worked out super perfect and yeah i'm happy with it I got changed in the workout clothes, got boxes in each bag. I'm going to carry these two. It's kind of a mission to take photos of boxes because I pack them all and they're all open. So there's literally only one box in each of these bags and my hands are going to be so full, but it's better than having to put them together. A fly just flew in here, damn it. It's better than having to put them together at the site. You know what I mean? So let's go take photos. Literally, look at how beautiful this front yard is. Like, are you kidding me right now? So, so gorgeous. They have sunflowers. Oh my God. I'm obsessed. Okay, I think I've gotten pictures in front of flowers like this. I'm thinking 
What should I do for this box? Should I just do full purple again? <gasps> Actually, look at those. Could I get in there towards those pink ones? I just, I don't want to step. Oh my God, look at those pink flowers. I don't want to step in her front yard. But... I'm really just like in her front yard, like whoever's front yard. This is bless your heart. Maybe like right here. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Get in there. Come on. All right. I'm thinking. The wind is really, like, fighting me. She has a lot of really pretty sunflowers, like, over there. But I would have to get really close to her front yard, and I'm not trying to do that. So I think I'm going to just try to use these ones right here. We'll see. I think my camera might be overheating, but I'm filming some reels. Um, I'm done taking pictures of all the boxes. Now I'm just gonna do a couple reels and then I'm gonna head back. It's like, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of overcast, which is nice for lighting purposes because sometimes direct sunlight, it's just like casts a lot of shadows and isn't that great, but it's so hot out and this overcast, it's just like humid, it's so humid. But anyway, okay. I'm gonna get back to it. We're outside the gym, but we think this lizard might be pregnant. Oh shit, where'd it go? It's so crazy. Moves in a quickness though. Okay, just got back from the gym, had a really good workout. The leggies are feeling tired. This was the gym fit. Okay, it was leg day. I did. Not too hard of a workout, honestly, but I did different workouts than I normally do, so hopefully I feel a little sore tomorrow. Um, but I'm gonna shower, uh, and I'm not getting into clothes for the event yet, just because we still have a while and I'm trying to be comfy. But to give you an idea, that's the dress that I'm wearing for the event. There, it looks crazy. Okay, I'm gonna make a protein smoothie, because that sounds super refreshing and good for after the workout. Um, this is called Granny Couture. <laughs> um, the Nutribullet cup on the top. of frozen fruit. This is mixed berry and this one's just strawberries. So I'm going to do a blend of both of those. And then I'm also going to make some edamame. So good. Some fresh blueberries. And I like 
to put peanut butter in it. And then the protein that we've been using is this um, isomorph 28. I have a friend, shout out to Sabrina. I don't, she's probably not gonna watch this, but um, she's like super into like workout, post workout nutrition and stuff like that. And she said that this one is really good because the sugar to protein ratio or something is good compared to like a lot of alternatives a lot of alternatives have a lot of sugar this has 1.5 grams and then 28 grams of protein 1.5 grams of sugar and then 28 grams of protein per serving and a lot of calcium it's only 130 calories per serving which seems like a lot but the protein you're getting is a lot and this is just in the vanilla milkshake flavor we're actually almost done with it so yeah. Look at the frozen strawberries. They're so cute. Let me turn on this light. Saturday, Sunday. Bro, that's what we could do with Nayeli. Yeah, I was just about to say. Like, Let's go. We could even stop by it with Amma. Also, what I was thinking. Yeah, when no. Was like, what's that? You know what's funny? I completely forgot about it. Because <laughs> it normally is around like 420 and then picnic day. But it came, I guess, a little later this year. Damn, that's a big ass. Oh! Fumbled. Okay. Good luck. I'm going to put water in it. Hopefully this isn't too full. I've like put too much stuff in it before and then it's crazy. Okay, I think that's good now. <sighs> put all the ingredients away. Oh, I didn't put protein powder in it. No. No. Okay, I have to do that. Okay. I wish I had a reusable straw, but I don't, so. It just is what it is. Let's try it though. I left the other half for Diego when he gets out of the shower, but cheers. Mm. Mm. Bless him. I think I'll probably pregame with the rest of this wine that we didn't finish yesterday. I don't know if you guys got to see, but it's from Navarra, which is a part of uh, the Basque country um, in Spain. It's a uh, 2016 wine, and it was so fire. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna drink this smoothie and actually look over the pictures that I took earlier for Cheeky and maybe edit a couple. And yeah. And then I'll make some edamame. Lightly salted edamame. So good. If you get them frozen, you just throw them in the microwave for like three minutes with a little bit of water. Salt them after. So fire. Also currently making lunch. <laughs>
Okay, just chefed some lunch. We're kind of cutting it close. This is like early dinner. Um, but I made uh, just a bunch. It's Friday, so it's all like leftover stuff. Chicken sausage with mushroom gnocchi, bell peppers, and onion topped with parmesan. And then also uh, the gnocchi has pesto. Honestly, all of it has pesto because I mixed it up. And then... Um, I just pulled this tea that I made a couple days ago out of the fridge. Take this saran wrap off of it. Um, it's just iced black tea. Um, and I forgot to put sugar in it when it was still hot. So I sweetened it with... What did I sweeten it with? I sweetened it with... Oh, agave syrup. This agave syrup. And honestly, pretty good. I actually haven't tried it. I tried it when it was like lukewarm, but I'm excited to try it when it's cold. Let's see. Oh my God, that is so good. I think I might just do that moving forward. That agave syrup is so good. I love it on uh, protein pancakes. Mm. But anyway, we're gonna eat lunch. And then I might start pre-gaming with some wine when I get ready. I need, I need so to get ready. But I'm drinking tea. It's like the caffeine and then the wine. Okay, we have about an hour until we have to leave. So because I cooked, he's going to do dishes. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to pour us up some of the wine from yesterday. Oh, we're going to pour up. We're planning on getting there fashionably late. We are able to pregame because John is giving us a ride. Uh, the party is like open bar and everything. Um, but figured, why don't we just sip some wine before we go? Also, Diego and I have this. We always put our corks in this thing that we got. I don't know where we got it. Maybe Home Goods. But it's just like this cute like cork holder. <laughs> okay, let me grab my makeup and then I'll set up. Cheers. By the time I'm done with this, I will have glowed up. Also, there has been something in my eye all day. And I don't know what, oh my God, I see it. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh my God, hold up, I gotta pause. I'm not okay, I am not okay. Something fucking traumatic just happened right now and I haven't even taken like a, a good sip of my wine yet to cope. A okay, <laughs> let me just put these eye drops in because you guys, maybe you've had an eyelash in your eye before, okay? We've all, we've all had that. Look at this fucking eye. But have you ever had a whole ass hair in your eye. A whole, it was literally this long. How long was it, babe? Like this long? Yeah, it was like, yeah. It was freaking long. And like, it's so crazy because before we ate lunch, I was telling Diego like, hold up, there's something in my eye. And I thought it was, I got it out, but I didn't. Um, it, it was simply hiding out in the back of my freaking eye socket probably. And oh my gosh, she does, oh. My poor eye, bro. I was like literally just fingering my eye. Whoa. Pause. <sighs> Dude, literally pause because. Uh, traumatic. When I tell you traumatic, I mean literally so traumatic. I don't know. Uh, now my eyes are gonna be all red for this freaking party. Oh my god. I don't know why I put eye drops on the other one. I think it's having sympathy pains or something. <laughs> okay, I need a drink. Uh, I already feel better. Uh, <laughs> playing, that was so, uh, such alcoholic tendencies. Um, okay. But as I was saying, we're not driving there, so. Okay, I need to do my makeup. So what is this party? The Graduate School of Management, AKA GSM throws a party every year for students to, 
I don't know, pretty much just celebrate the fact that we're in the program. Um, normally it happens in like winter quarter, but this year they decided to wait until spring because COVID rates were still pretty high in the winter and it's an indoor event. Oh, I should start with whatever. And so, uh, yeah, so we're having this big party and I don't really know. Yeah, I guess the purpose is just to celebrate the fact that we're in the program. It's going to be in Sacramento. It's an open bar. There's going to be like appetizers and dessert, I think is what they said. And it starts at 6, but we're planning on getting there at 6.30. I'm planning on leaving at 6, getting there at 6.30. I don't know, because we've kind of been doing stuff, first of all. But second of all, I wouldn't mind being fashionably late to an event like this. Um, just because... The people are are cool, but average age of the people in the program, I think, is like 30, and I'm 22. Um, Diego's 25, so Diego has more in common with, with them. <laughs> um, no, but honestly, though, it's more me. Like, I'm the, I'm the outsider type of thing, and so sometimes there's like... A little bit of imposter syndrome going on which is honestly like a whole nother conversation I feel like I feel like I hesitate to go to a lot of these events just because I feel like I don't really belong um, I don't have that much in common to talk with to talk about with these people it takes a lot more effort to talk to people that you feel like you don't have anything in common with. You know what I mean? Um, and I mean, it's not, it's not like super hard and it's not impossible or anything like that. Um, but it just is a lot more draining and I already have so much going on. So going to the, these events, these, you know, they'll go, they'll do like, they'll go to a bar or, you know, they'll just have like fun days with each other, some of the cohort. And I've gone to a few of them. I've gone bowling and a few things like that. But during my free time, I don't know. It's just kind of exhausting, honestly. Like, it just feels like I'm going to school. Um, I think tonight will be different because it's really a party and everybody's just trying to have a good time. I've gone to a few events and it's been, they were good when I go. They're good. But they do require me to, like, put in a lot more effort because I kind of have to mute who I am like I'm not a hundred percent myself just because hundred percent myself is a little too immature for these people right like if we're just being honest um I'm not I don't think I'm at their level yet and I don't have kids and there's just you know so sometimes it's just a little draining but but they're all really good people I do really like most of my cohort <laughs> um the other thing is, like, don't get it twisted. Like, okay, they're older, but there is some tea. There is some tea in the cohort. Diego knows, like, we have Slack channels. If you guys don't know what Slack is, it's pretty much, like, a platform that lets you talk to a bunch of people at once. Like, giant group chats, almost. I'm almost out of this powder. God. Um, And so... You know, everybody just talks on there and we have different Slack channels for the entire MBA uh, class. So it'll be like first and second years and then we have our own for second years and then there's usually like one for every class. So my pricing class has a Slack channel. My um, digital marketing class has a Slack channel. That type of thing. But they get, they get down in the Slack channel. Like they... People get freaking mad at each other. Ew, uh, there's a dead bug under the desk, babe. You wanna get this for me? You don't have to do it right now, actually. It's under there. You see it tucked away. The fact that it's tucked makes me think my foot hit it at some point. No, not the legs coming apart from the wings. But anyway, they... <laughs> Like, they're mature, but they get real immature, like, okay. 
freaking mid mid twenties to thirties to mid thirties. They get crazy too. Like they be fighting in there. I remember when COVID was happening, was like in its peak, uh, in winter quarter, and it wasn't in its peak in winter quarter, but there was another spike, and someone from our cohort got COVID, and we got we all got notified about it, and you know whatever they didn't tell us who it was, right? Um, but they told us like someone in our class got uh, COVID and like pretty much just telling us all to get tested because they didn't want to say who it was, but they were like, you may have come in contact with this person. So it's in your best interest to get tested. And someone in the Slack channel was like, confess who you are right now. Like you're putting us all in danger by not telling us who you are, blah, 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 which like valid, like he has a point, but at the same time that's so unprofessional and literally illegal to like force somebody to tell you that they have covid is like you you can't force somebody to share their medical records with you like that's literally illegal so um people were just like getting so mad everybody was just getting so mad but but there's also been cases where there'll be like arguments back and forth on an email string like including all of the advisors and like everybody in chart program coordinators like literally maybe even dean is on that list to be honest with you like i'm pretty sure it's like the whole school and there'll be there were points where people were just ccing everyone on like full-blown arguments and i'm like are you kidding like we're this is this is a master's program and we're getting MBA. It's like we're supposed to be the bosses. So I don't know why all, all of a sudden, but you know what it is? Everybody who's trying to get an MBA thinks that they're fit to be a leader, thinks that they're like the shits, right? You put a bunch of those people in the same room and it's like, it's like a big dick competition, low key, but like professional. <laughs> um, Nah, it's not that bad, but sometimes that's another reason that I don't always hang out with them is because they'll just be like random drama for no reason. And I'm like, I'm not trying to beef with 30 year olds. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not even trying to beef with people my own age, much less older than me. Like y'all got kids, relax. Okay, I'm gonna do more of my makeup and then I will come back to you because we need to have the fan on. It is so toasty. I don't really wear shit like this. So... I don't really know how this is supposed to sit, to be honest with you. I'm pretty sure it's the lack of titty that's making it not sit as cute as it should. But can't grow them right now, so just going to have to make do. Well, I feel like the more I mess with it, the worse it's looking. So that's great. Like, can you guys see how weird that looks from the side? Look at that. Look at all that emptiness. <laughs> if I pull it down, I feel like it looks better, but not by much. You know who would have a life hack for this? Char. Char. If you're watching this, I know you would fix this. I just know you would because she always has like 700 TikTok, like wrap this around here and then do this and put this right here. And then all of a sudden you look snatched. Uh, but anyway, this is what the dress looks like. Peep the socks. It's very uh, modest compared to like going outfits that I normally wear. But at the same time, I feel like it's going to be very risque to the crowd that I'm going to. But maybe not. Um, looks like this. It has like a scrunch on the side. Very satiny, silky material. And then this is supposed to be like a scoop neck. But girl, let me be the first to tell you that if you don't have titties, it's going to sit weird. Because look at that. Um, if I stand just completely straight, I do kind of look like a black expo marker. But if you catch me from like one of these... We look, we look better. Um, I don't know what to do with my hair, which is the last step. Very critical step, nonetheless. I mean, the pony is like, if it was cleaned up, would kind of be a vibe. But I'm also thinking up all the way. 
Let's do it down all the way. But if I do it down all the way, I can kind of cover this situation. That might be a move. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do down just because it kind of hides this and we needed to hide that. So it's all frizzy as you can tell. So I'm gonna go wet it and fix it and I'll be back. Okay, my hair obviously is to dry because I wet it, uh, but it looks like this. Let me spray some cooking oil spray actually in it because I've been having these like, like my hair is like breaking right here. Does anybody have any suggestions for that? Oh, that went directly into my eyes as if my eyes have not experienced enough freaking trauma already <laughs> today. This shit smells so good. Oh my God. Looks like this. Creme de nature. Argan oil. I would use that one from Curls and Coils NYC, the shine spray, but I'm saving that for when I travel because it's a mini. So, Okay, and then next. Let's hit the body with some perfume. Um, hit the wrist. Hit the. Hey, Josh. Yeah. Can I have time to play a game with Fortnite with John? No, we need to leave. We're late. <laughs> these are kind of cool. Look okay, at more of these. My camera's already dying. This camera dies so fast. Got the earrings on. The camera is probably gonna die right now. So I'll do one last final fit check, and then I will probably record on my phone. So I'll show you what shoes I'm wearing after but this is the dress looks like that with the hair covering this scoop neck makeup i did like a pinky look pinkish purple this is my go-to look honestly when i don't know what to do and then the shoes i'm gonna wear really quick are just these guys right here just these like sandal Ankle ones. My toes aren't even painted, so they're gonna look uh, busted, but hopefully no one looks down. <laughs> and yeah. Cheers. And I will talk to you guys on my iPhone when we are driving. Hopefully I can get some footage there without it being awkward. <laughs> it's kind of ferocious right now, but I had Diego go with me to the, the house with the pretty flowers to take a picture. So we got a pic. Oh. You see it? The lighting might be Do trash. a spin. Huh? Do a spin. Ole! Okay. Let's get the shit. We're underdressed. This shit is literally a prom. <laughs> Take me home. Diego's and Cargo's. Hey, yo, real quick. I'm pretty sure these are uh, turkey sausage patties. <laughs> We're at Whole Earth Festival. That's cool. It's like woodworking stuff and clothes. We got a little cup of fruit and like cucumbers. Yeah. Oh, I'm down. Is it brunch? <laughs> Yum. Mother's Day brunch. Oh, should I do it? Wait, that one just crossed out. <gasps> nah. Running away. He's visiting They're his cousins. <laughs> adopting. Adopting. Look better over Auntie's house. Stupid. Stop. <laughs> the worms of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a way to get out there. I feel like right there. You see that, like. Imagine skipping rocks and hitting one. Oh no. Jink. These little geese. Thanks. <laughs> we couldn't find the actual trail, so we're just walking along the outside of. <laughs> Dude, and I swear it made a noise when it shit it, too. It was like. Okay, hold up. That's a geese shit? 
They take like they take like like solid shits, not like other birds take like wet shits. <laughs> when mom is in town, you already know we eat so good. She also brought this um small business hot sauce that I'm about to try. Chocolate Thunder from Uncle Keith's. So shout out. I'm gonna try it. How much should I put, Mom? Oh, just taste it first. Because <laughs> it's hot? Well, it's chocolate. It's different. Yeah, so it's it's chocolate thunder, but the spice level, I mean, it's pretty high. I'm okay, I'm going to try it with this bite right here. Try a little on the side. Go crazy. With this beautiful omelet. No cheese, no meat, so... Mm. Mm. Ooh, I look crazy, but it's kind of sweet, but definitely packs a punch. It does. Mm. So good. I'm curious what kind of um, like pepper they used in this. Let me see. Well, it's a small business, so everything should be there. <laughs> no weird stuff. Scorpion peppers oh, and serrano peppers. <laughs> I have no idea. But it has a vinegary base, which I really like. Huh? It has the apple cider vinegar base. Oh. So it gives that like That's tanginess. So, so much punch. Yeah. Tart. tart and spicy. Oh. I'm not seeing oh chocolate Trinidad. Oh chocolate Trinidad scorpion peppers. Huh. That's the full name. What does that even look like? What are those chocolate Trinidad scorpion? I thought it's tasty. It's so tasty. But um, I'll find them on Instagram and put their Instagram right here. I'm definitely gonna follow them. Okay. It's just a man and a woman. I don't know. They don't have the same name, but that doesn't mean they're not married or son and daughter. I mean, I can't really tell. Yeah. It's a chili pepper. I think I've seen them before. Have you? They look like they're like small. Do you want to see what they look like? Maybe they're a type of pepper that brings like sweet and spicy because I mean all of the other ingredients on here are pretty savory. Except for like tomato paste, but so good. This is a little salty. I'm gonna take a bite of a fruit right now. Try to guess what fruit this is, okay? Just listen, just listen. Was that good? Okay. There, that sound is from a grape. Liter my mom bought literally the crunchiest grapes I've ever had. Like that one wasn't even as hard as the last ones. Ready for this? Literally, what? How dense with water are these things? <laughs> As always, I look absolutely insane filming the outro, but thank you so much for watching this video. Mother's Day was so much fun. The big party was so much fun. It was, it was a really good time. Everybody was just having a good time. Um, and yeah, we will see you in the next one. So peace.